Hello and welcome to another episode of We Are Next. My name is Kevin Peters and I am your host. Today I'm joined by the amazingly talented Clay Upson. Clay, thanks for joining me today. Hey, no problem at all. Thank you for having me on here, Kev. I appreciate it. I'm excited to talk. All right, Clay, let's just jump into it. Tell us a bit about who you are and what you do. So my name's Clay. On social media, I go by Creative Fro, and I am a full-time content creator. So whether a company is looking for a promo video for their social media or just an individual who wants to get their message out there, I help them, whether it's through video creation or photo creation. I'd like to hear a bit about where you're from. Where would you say are your roots? So I grew up in St. Catharines, Ontario. I lived there until about the age of 20. And then from 20 to 24, I was out in Calgary and then made my way back here to the Niagara region. How long have you been doing the content creation? Is that something you've been doing all along or is that a new adventure? You know what? I've actually been doing it as a little kid. I used to pick up my camera and kind of go around my neighborhood and get people on camera and try to just, uh, we actually, me and my friends had uh, tried to make a music group. So I was documenting some of our vlogs around the neighborhood and stuff like that. They never, that never really turned out to be anything, but that kind of transferred into high school after we had separated. I was doing my own little personal vlogs of like, how to make a grilled cheese, how to get ready for a day of school and stuff like that, just small videos. Yeah, and then after that, um, I was documenting a little bit of my bodybuilding journey from 20 to about 24, just what a day of a life takes to be a competitive bodybuilder and stuff like that. And then it had transferred into when I came back home, uh, I was talking to my best friend, we were coming up with an idea, we're like, you know what, maybe it'd be a good idea if we started a company together where, cause he, he went to Brock for accounting and stuff like that. So he had more of the business background and I was the creative. So we came up with an idea to start visual after visual, where we were just going around local Niagara region pretty much and, um, helping brands tell their story through that way. But unfortunately, since COVID-19 had come around, we were working with a lot of corporate businesses that kind of pushed us back. So now we're just working on remodeling the business and coming up with a different way of, um, packaging the process and making it a little bit better for each end, well, for the clients and ourselves too as well. So that is put on pause, but now I'm just doing my own freelance creating, which is what it's turned to today. I always try to, you know, keep myself on YouTube and watching other top creators and seeing what they're doing and trying to implement that into my own way and testing them out on certain different projects because every project is a little bit different. Some are just cut and dry. They just want a to Z, whereas other ones I can kind of have a little bit more creative flexibility where I can add that sound design, maybe have some stop motion or drone footage or something like that. So you hinted earlier about a previous life in athletics. I'd really love to hear more about that. What kind of sports were you involved in? So mainly my uh, big sport was football. I played that from the age of 10 to 20, but that was mixed in with high school football too as well. So it evolved all the way through then. And then when I moved out to Calgary for my first year, I ended up making it into the CJFL league. So that's one league under the CFL. After I had stopped football, I got into bodybuilding because I was in the gym to try to put on size for that okay. league. And I did that until about the age of 24. So yeah, just pretty much that was like my background in the fitness industry. Went from football into bodybuilding. And um, yeah, then it slowly had evolved into content creation. Now, when you say bodybuilding, are we talking competitive? Like you actually went on stage or are we just talking going to the gym all the time yeah so actually it was just going to the gym all the time and then it transitioned into going on stage so no way. I competed. yeah yeah it was awesome it was a good time i ended up competing for about a little th like three and a half years or so and um i remember the first show i did i got fifth place and then i fell in love with it after then so after my fifth place placing i ended up doing another show again and i got fifth again that was a year later and um I was a little upset. I was like, oh man, I worked so hard for this whole year and I got fifth again. But then I went to, um, I was able to go to provincials. So I went there, but I got my butt kicked there. I got <laughs> 12 <laughs> out of 12 feet. I got last place. So I was like, oh man, like, I don't know what to do. So I, it kind of motivated me though to get back into the gym and train hard again and kind of recreate my training programs the way it was eating and everything. So after that show a year later, I was able to get first place in um, men's physique. So oh, that was amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I was able to come back. And that's kind of where I ended it there too because like everything had happened back home. So yeah, I mm -hmm. came back and yeah, it was just awesome coming from 12th to first and just that whole progression of like being humbled down and everything. And yeah, it was an awesome experience and all. So I was looking at some of your pages and I did see that you have some football related content. Can you tell me a bit about capturing 
capturing sport, capturing activity, and what do you do with that? Okay, so pretty much with that, um, playing in the NRMFA in high school and stuff like that, what was lacking a lot was um, actually having the footage. Because when you're trying to get to the university level or maybe beyond that if you're trying to get into the States and play, what a lot of um, scouts and coaches want to see is your game film. And um, so, yeah, I noticed there was not much of that. And my cousin, he actually lives in Niagara Falls, and he's at high school at Ann Meyer. And I decided to go, so pretty much I was already watching his games, but then I decided, I was like, why not, why not bring my camera and kind of capture the whole game? So about three years ago, I started like capturing that content for him and like the whole team. So I record the whole football game and I would put it on YouTube. And this allows the kids and the coaches to be able to see the whole footage so they can have meetings around, okay, here's where we went wrong. Here's where we can improve. And then beyond that, now that I'm doing the senior um, games, I've been able to create highlights for the students that they're able to send to universities or their scouts or wherever it may be for them to get more exposure. So, and then um, when quarantine had come in, I remember I was just locked inside the house a lot and I'm like, oh, I don't really, I was kind of stuck with what to create because we can't go out and do video shoots and stuff as much anymore. So I decided to go through and find CFL highlights and make like individual highlights for an, a CFL player. And by doing that, I was able to, you know, uh, grow my social media on the CFL side. So now I have some CFL players that are following me, with me and engage with me and stuff like that. Excellent. I was kind of like, I was shocked. I didn't think they would see it. I was just like, you know what? I want to build up a portfolio because in the future, it would be fun since I played football from 10 um, to be able to get to the next level, whether it's CFL or NFL and creating maybe a single player's highlights or for the team. Um, just being able to capture their story throughout what happens maybe in the, the day of the life of the Hamilton Tiger Cats team or what happens in an individual player's life, like behind the scenes, like getting their tape put on them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just, I wanted to do that creation because I was stuck in quarantine. I was like, okay, if I do these CFL highlights, maybe I can get a better portfolio. People will see it more. And then all of a sudden they started following me. So I was doing one a week sort of thing. And, um, yeah, so that's my main goal, hopefully, with creating content for football that it will bring me further um, to a gig, maybe a day game or to sign on with the CFL for a year and just capture a whole bunch of footage and then maybe use that CFL footage to get me to the NFL. So what advice would you have for somebody who foresees a potential career in content creation? Like be bold in a way. So don't, you know, because a lot of the times I'll get stuck up on, oh, I don't think this is good enough. The perfectionism almost in a way. I feel like that's like, fear so you got to get over that fear and put your creations out there because i notice there's i start here and i want to be here but to get there i can't go from here all the way up so it's little small steps you know do your own research and do your own study and kind of pick from a whole bunch of different people and kind of see what you like and what sticks with you and try to just recreate that in your own way clay tell me a bit about where you find your motivation where do you get your ideas what inspires you i would say it's not really, I guess, so much motivation. It's just my passion and drive to become better. And, like, that was the same thing with football. You know, I was always trying to find a route to how I can be better with bodybuilding. How can I go from last place to first place and now to content creating? I look at a lot of the stuff I make, even, like, the, the last stop motion video I just made on my um, Instagram. Um, like, I will review it, and I'm like, you know what? I should have done this different. Maybe I should have added that. So I'm always, like, nitpicking and trying to make things better, and I think, that's what helps me become better because now next time when I go to do it, I have those ideas in my head and remember what I had made a mistake on and try to improve on that. All right, Clay, just before we wrap things up, let everybody know what is next for you. For the football side of things, I would love to get into the CFL, creating content out there when, you know, everything's back to normal and I can um, start creating content consistently for that platform. Hopefully that CFL um, content creation will lead me to the NFL. Just getting better. Keep watching you know, content, keep trying to recreate things, um, come up with different ways to tell stories. Recently, I just got my drone license. So in Canada, you weren't allowed to fly your drone. So yeah, yeah. now I'll be back flying the drone again and, you know, try to help use that to create people's stories too as well. But yeah, always just trying to improve and move the needle forward. That wraps up another episode of We Are Next. If you'd like to nominate a friend or volunteer yourself, please comment below. We'll see you in the next episode. See everybody.